The summer is coming to an end. It's already late August, and I can really feel how autumn is coming closer for every day that goes by. But I think the end of the summer is a wonderful time. Sometimes even more wonderful than the summer itself. It's still green and warm outside, but the air feels more clean and fresh. And the mosquitoes have finally left us alone. Almost. But, of course, it's getting darker again. No more bright nights or midnight sun. But in some strange way, the darkness always feels so welcoming in the autumn. So comfortable and calming. I think that the light in the summer focuses more on the energy outwards. Like people, social life, activities, movement and the physical world. And then, as the autumn and the darkness arrives, it feels like the focus shifts more into our inner world and it opens up space for feelings, reflections and creativity. A time to nurture our soul. I really love the constant changing seasons that we have here. It makes every month feel new and unknown. And it's a good reminder that nothing really lasts forever. And I guess that's the beauty of it. Another good thing about August is that the forest is full of berries. The blueberries is my favorite. And the lingonberries just started getting ripe as well. And in our garden we have lots of raspberries, both yellow and red. And we have black currant, which is also a huge favorite of mine. And red currant. And we also have gooseberries, which is very new to me, but they taste really good. I want to make sure to pick enough berries for the whole winter. I think that eating berries every day during the winter can help to stay strong and healthy. And this year, picking lots of blueberries is more important than ever, since I found a new way of using them, more than to just eat or drink them. I will tell you more about that in a minute. Picking berries is also strongly connected to memories from my childhood. Every summer when we came here to Grunchan, we picked lots of berries. We were out all day. And it was such a special feeling to come home in the evening and make homemade berry jam. And being out in the forest like this makes me think so much of my grandparents and how much I miss them. They grew up and lived here, and they have probably been walking in the exact same spots once in a time, picking berries.
That always happens in the autumn, as you start making fires for the first time after the summer. When the pipe is cold, it takes some time before the smoke flows the right way. But after a while, the fire was perfect. This is usually what I do with most of the berries that I pick. I use this thing called saftmaya to steam the berries into a juice. And I add no sugar, it's only the berries and water. And I tell you, it smells heavenly in the kitchen while doing this. When the juice is done, I usually put it in small bottles to keep in the freezer. In that way, I can just take out a bottle to unfreeze whenever I need some berry juice. As I told you earlier, I found a new way of using the blueberries more than to just drink it. I make paint out of it. I first got the idea earlier this summer, as I was out with you one looking for stones in the forest just behind our house. I found this yellow rusty sand and I was thinking what if I could make my own paint out of this beautiful sand? And about three weeks ago, I was out with my mom picking blueberries. And as I saw the blue color from the berries on my fingers, I once again got the thought about making paint from the natural pigment. I just didn't really know how to make it into a paint with pigments that would last even as it dries. But one night in my studio, I experimented with these natural pigments from the blueberries and the sand and made my very own paint out of it. And I was completely mesmerized. I immediately started thinking about other ways of finding beautiful colors in the nature around me. I looked for stones with different colors in our garden. And then I bought this stone crushing machine to make the stones into sand. And I took carbon from the fire to make black pigment and ashes to get grey and brown. It didn't matter that making my own paint from nature took me so much time. Picking the berries finding the stones and preparing the paint, I fell in love with the whole process. I am still blown away by these beautiful colors of nature, and painting with them is pure joy. The only acrylic color that I add is white, to be able to mix them into different shades. It's incredible how many colors you can get from such few pigments, and I love to get to know these colors, and to mix them together to create new ones. The colors might not be as strong and vibrant as the acrylic colors that I used to paint with, but I love the natural look and the earthy tones, and knowing that it's made with pigment from nature gives it a whole new dimension. And you can really feel the sand and the different structures from the pigments. It makes it feel real.
So yeah, that's what I've been up to lately. Now it's soon September and I really look forward to share the beautiful autumn with you all. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. And a special thanks to my subscribers on Patreon for supporting my creative work. Lots of love to you everybody. I see you soon.